Some positive news in North Carolina's COVID-19 battle. Hospitalizations are decreasing and vaccination rates are increasing. But health officials say even that progress is coming very slowly. WFM1 News 2's Adoria Chumba learned more about the state's plans moving forward. NCDHHS Secretary Dr. Mandy Cohen said even though the state has vaccinated more than half a million people, it could still take many more months for a majority of the population to get vaccinated. We will always have supply of second doses on hand to ensure everyone gets both shots. But those first doses need to get off the shelf and given to people each and every week. State health officials said while COVID-19 vaccination rates improved slightly, there are still challenges. To help boost vaccination rates and access for marginalized communities, the North Carolina Department of Transportation is giving $2.5 million in relief funds to local transit authorities to get people to vaccination sites. The state is aiding these local efforts by offering support with data entry or event planning, coordination across community players, Pairing volunteer workforce such as vaccinators and registration assistants, help answering phones, and materials to inform people about vaccines. Though not yet in the state, health experts are raising awareness about a more transmissible mutation of the virus, and they are monitoring its impact on the vaccine. B117 variant likely will take over as the predominant virus here in the United States. Um, by the end of March, the CDC thinks that's mathematical modeling. And it just means that's going to be the color of the virus going around at that time. And the health experts say there's still a lot of viral spread going on in North Carolina and not enough vaccines to go around just yet. So they're warning folks to continue following the health and safety protocols.